Hello everybody, welcome to the DF Robot Science Lab. Today, we're going to talk about the neutralization reaction. In summer, when a mosquito bites you, you'll put some soapy water to ease the itchiness. Why? Is there any magic substance in the soapy water? Let's check it out. Let's see the material we're going to use. Cola, vinegar, baking soda, soapy water, and distilled water. A battery holder with three AAA batteries installed. It provides electricity. A main board. It's the most powerful tool. A waterproof temperature sensor. It measures the temperature in liquid. A display module. You can see all the information here. A pH sensor and a pH probe. They need to be used in combination to detect the pH of the liquid. Some boson cables. We use it to connect sensors and actuators. Some clear plastic cups. It holds the liquid. Droppers. We can use it to clean the pH probe. Now let's connect these tools. Here's the soapy water and distilled water we prepared for this experiment. Now I'll show you how to do it. Remember, every time before we do the pH level test, use the running distilled water to wash the pH probe for no less than 5 seconds. Then we'll use the pH sensor to measure the pH level of soapy water. Adjust the display module to pH mode and keep it for 30 seconds. Okay, let's see what we've got. Yeah, it's a 9.6, more than seven. I'm going to record it in this table. Soapy water has a pH of 9.6. It's an alkaline substance. Then we need to wash the pH probe with running distilled water for five seconds. Next, let's also try cola, vinegar, and baking soda solution. The cola's pH is 3.0. It's an acidic substance. The vinegar's pH is 3.0. It's an acidic substance. Baking soda solution's pH value is 8.1. It's an alkaline substance. Now I have an idea. When we put vinegar into baking soda solution, how would the pH value change? By adding two milliliters of vinegar after 30 seconds, the pH level changes from 8.1 to 7.4. It's not that acidic. Now let's go back to where we started. Why does soapy water stop the itchiness? When mosquitoes bite you, they produce acidic substance. The soapy water you put on is alkaline substance. Those two substances have a reaction called the neutralization reaction, where it gives you relief on the mosquito bite. And next, let's test the change in pH level. Bring one cup of fresh baking soda solution on the desk. Then we will use the pH sensor for the pH level and keep it under record. Next, add two milliliters of vinegar to the baking soda solution. Repeat several times until the pH level turns to seven, where the neutralizing reaction is almost completed. Record these sets of data to see what happens to the temperature and pH level of the solution as different amounts of vinegar is added. When adding eight milliliters of vinegar, the reading of pH turns to seven. Now let's do some analysis on the data recorded. On this grid table, you can see the amount of vinegar is on the x-axis and the pH is on the y-axis. Let's put all sets of data we have into this table and connect all the dots with the red line. We can see that the more vinegar you put, the lower pH level you will get. Okay, here's the recap. Neutralization occurs when acidic substance and alkaline substance are mixed together. The more vinegar you put, the lower pH level you will get. And then you know why soapy water works for those mosquito bites, as it's out of neutralization. But now we have a new question. Do neutralization reactions heat up? Please leave a comment of what you observed here. So that's all for today. Thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to this channel and stay tuned on edu.dfrobot.com for more educational resources. See you next time.